Hi guys, this is Dr. Farjana. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to talk about how to deal with trauma, how to deal with just old trauma that comes back, right? That just arises in us again, right? Sometimes we, not, we might not know why old trauma is arising, right? Sometimes they come in the form of flashbacks, some type of like uh, uneasy energy, right? So we tend to just focus on our feelings and start to think something is wrong with us, right? Uh, we start to think that we aren't healed. Oh no, all the work we've done has, is, didn't really work, right? Uh, but it's important to understand that healing from trauma is not linear. It fluctuates, right? You will also have relapses. It is a learned behavior in your thought processes, right? So there will be moments of relapse. It's basically part of the process. Nothing is wrong with you. Please remember this. Nothing is wrong with you. So when flashbacks uh, do arise, right, we tend to forget Right? We, need, we tend to forget what environmental and biological triggers that may be occurring, right? So it's important to check in on those environmental and biological triggers. For instance, it's important to identify the triggers particularly and then process those feelings, right? Like what happened before I started feeling like this, right? So I'm going to uh, share some solutions, right, to help you uh, process those old traumas that arise. Number one, do a fact check, right? Ask. What, ha what changes has occurred recently in my environment, right? Did I start work? Did I start a new career? Uh, did I go back to college? So you just have to kind of see what changes, right, are occurring environmentally. Second, what changes has occurred biologically, right? Are you on your, you know, if you're a female, are you on your uh, period, right? Uh, are you something, are you, is your vitamin D low? So just checking on how you're feeling biologically, right? internally like your sleep patterns etc right next identify the triggers and don't get stuck with in in that uneasy feeling identify the trigger and don't get stuck in that uneasy feeling right so think about your think about okay maybe something triggered me at work maybe it's the location of where i'm working right now right is it a, some type of big tri stressor right like a commute that just uh you know, start it for me again. So just remembering all these, uh, doing those fact, that fact check will really, really help you identify what's causing this trigger, right? And these old traumas to, re to arise again. Remember, nothing is wrong with you, okay? All right, guys, do your fact checks and process those feelings, okay? Take care of yourself. You got this. I believe in you. Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajana. I hope you guys are doing well. It's a pleasure to always connect with you. Today I'm going to talk about what to do when past trauma arises, right? Like randomly, when it arises randomly, okay? Number one, you want to acknowledge that it's extremely important not to let your imagination, right, be contaminated by your past trauma, right? You want to you want to make sure, right, or be aware, extremely aware, that you don't let your imagination be contaminated, right, by your past trauma or past pain, especially by remembering it, right? So, um, or how life used to be, right? So you might sometimes be going about your day and then all of a sudden you're like, wait a second. Oh, yeah, I remember this in my 20s, remember this in my, you know, whatever age you were. So what you want to understand is remembering past, the past, right? The negative aspects of the past decreases creativity, right? Uh, decreases future successes, decision-making ability. It decreases your immunity and reinforces lack thinking. So this is why you want to be extremely important as to what kind of thoughts, right, you uh, remember. So what are some solutions? What do you do when a random thought comes from the past? It could be some type of trauma where you know, it could be some sexual trauma, it could be uh, a divorce, it could be a childhood trauma, whatever trauma that occurs and you're just going about your day. Number one, the solution is number one, I want you to notice it. Number two, I want you to say high past energy that has nothing to do with right now. High past energy that has nothing to do with right now. And then I want you to let it pass through you. Like literally let it pass through you. And take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Okay, I'll say the steps again. Notice it. I want you to say high pass energy that has nothing to do with right now. And then I want you to let it pass through you, right? So you don't resist it when it comes 
Because when you resist it, right, your body starts retaining it. So you want to just notice it, right? High pass energy that has nothing to do with right now. It puts it into perspective, and then you let it to pass through your body. And if you're really, really aware and in tune with your body, right, and your thought processes, you can feel it, like that energy just leaving you. It's a, such a wonderful healing technique, guys. So I want you to try it, okay? You got this. You've cut, overcome so many things in your life, and I believe in you. I have complete faith in you, okay? So don't, don't get stuck in that past pain. Just realize it, notice it, let it pass through you. Take care of yourself. Bye. Hi, guys. This is Dr. Frajana. I hope you guys are doing well. It's always a pleasure to connect with you. Today, I am going to talk about trauma. Today, I'm going to talk about the constant urge about constant urgency and trauma, right? What does that mean? What does it look like? And some solutions, okay? So trauma dysregulates two things. It dysregulates our ability to regulate, regulate our emotions and it dysregulates our ability to connect or empathize with other human beings, okay? So it's important to emphasize these two uh, uh, phenomena, right? One is our ability, it dysregulates our ability to regulate our own emotions, and it dysregulates our ability to connect or empathize with other human beings. So how is being in a constant state of urgency and be, being easily affected by people's mean comments a trauma response, right? How is being in a constant state of urgency and being easily affected by people's mean comments a trauma response? Firstly, traumatic events in the past required us to act quickly right? Without much long-term planning, right? We were, we had to respond very quickly, right? Quickly, quickly. That's where the urgency comes in. Second, trauma responses limited, right? Past trauma responses limited our ability to slow down and see the bigger picture, right? So we, right, immediately we went into flight and fight or freeze mode, right? There was no bigger picture for, for people who experience trauma in their life, right? So individuals that struggle with past trauma are in rushed mode, right? They have limited ability to slow down due to trauma living. They're unable to connect with loved ones without being defensive, right? When, especially when they bring up issues or struggles, right? That, or something that they need to work on. Also, they have, some of them may display high anxiety. They may get easily affected by people people's mean comments and are are unable to self-regulate. It's easy for them to relapse in all negative self-soothing ways, right? Because they can't see the bigger picture and remaining in certain healthy dynamics. For instance, a mean comment from a colleague may trigger all hurt and and, and the person with trauma experiences may just quit, right? Like fight and flight right there or relapse, right? Freeze. They basically get in that, that mode instantaneously, right? Their trauma exemplifies minor daily struggles. Their trauma exemplifies minor daily struggles. It's hard for them to detach, right, and see other people's uh, uh, unconscious behavior as, as their behavior alone, right? For somehow they think it's related to them, right? It's, it's, it's something they did. Something's wrong with, the, uh, you know, the person who's, you know, experiencing it, right? So how to calm triggers? How do you calm those triggers? Okay, I'm going to share some techniques that you can use. If you're in this, ca- if you feel like this is, this, uh, you know, you can relate to this, right? Because I know I can. So these are some things you can use to calm your triggers. Notice your breath. Put your hand in front of your mouth and breathe into your hand. Do this when you notice yourself feeling like you need to figure out everything all at once. So when you're breathing out like this, right, you're able to say, wait a second, I have some control over my life right now, right? I can control my breathing, right? You can slow down. Also, the next way to calm your trigger is notice the urgent energy. Notice it. Notice it as you're feeling it. Show it love. Say, 
I feel urgent energy right now and it's okay, I accept you. I feel urgent energy right now and it's okay, I accept you. Use visualization techniques to minimize the situation, right? Normalize unconscious people are part of work dynamics and family dynamics, right? That's just part of the process. They're always going to be there in some form. Validate threatened parts of you. You can say, when you're feeling, when you're feeling threatened, say, I'm, I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved over and over. Also, let the part the threat, the part of that part of you know, you matter. I know you feel scared. I'm here for you now. Let's release the trauma. Let's breathe it out. Right, guys. I hope this is helpful. Okay, don't give up on yourself. You matter, right? Your traumas don't define you, right? You are the soul behind all that trauma. And. Just take it one day at a time, right? One healing moment at a time. You got this. Take care of yourself. Hi, guys. This is Dr. Frajana. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I just wanted to connect with you guys today on a, a different level, right? I wanted to just remind you that no matter what happened to you in your life, stay amazing. No matter what happened to you in your life, stay amazing. Uh, and I'm talking about individuals who went through sexual abuse, uh, divorce, infidelity, uh, physical abuse, childhood trauma, such as parental discord, chaos in the family, uh, uh, abuse by parents, whatever uh, you know, struggles you went through in your life, I want you to understand that you are still amazing, right? You are still amazing, right? You exist beyond your life story, you exist beyond your life struggles, right? There's you, your soul, right? Behind the trauma, behind your thinking, right? You, 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 you are detached. You, you want to start to detach a little bit and understand that you exist beyond your life form, your body, your thinking, right? You're the one who watches your thinking, right? You're the one who takes care of your body, right? You're the one who processes those, those struggles you went through right? Don't let your life story define you, right, guys? You're that untouched soul scarred by nothing, right? You're that higher level of, un, higher level of consciousness that watches everything, right? Obviously, use those uh, experiences that you've, uh, those struggles that you've experienced, right? Use it as motivation, right? Heal from them, right? Use it to empower others, right? Sometimes certain things happen to us in our lives to expedite other things, right? Uh, to, to make us uh, reach our full potential, right? We can use those traumas and hurts as something to, uh, to get us, keep us stuck in a narrative. Or we can just say, no, I'm going to soar. I'm going to help others in these situations, right? I'm going to impact the world in some way, Right? So again, no matter what happened to you, stay amazing. That's the message I want to give you guys. No matter what happened to you in your life, stay amazing. Because no one can touch your soul, right? That soul is untouched, right? With beauty and love, right? Curiosity and wisdom, right? So just remember that. Whatever happened, your body, right? Your mind, Right? You're the soul behind all of that. You're the soul. Okay, And try to connect with that on a deeper level. Right? Okay, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye. You are amazing. You rock. You matter.